Hi, and welcome along everyone. Today's video is regarding leaks on compression pipe fittings. Like this one here for instance. Compression coupling. Quite often you get a leak and it's running down this bit of pipe here. What to do now? This is an often asked question I get in a lot of times now. And I would say the first thing to try is to try and tighten it up a little bit if it, if you can, if you can get to the spanners enough, get it, get a little nip on it and just see if it will go up a little bit. Now these couplings, take it off, they go right hand thread. Okay, so you can't go wrong. You know which way to tighten it. Like on that instance, it would be that way. If it was this nut on top that was leaking and running down, it would be the other way. And obviously, if it was horizontal again, that's undoing it. Look anti-clockwise, clockwise doing it out. So quite easy. Worth trying first of all. No luck with that, then we come on to our problem side now. The best thing then, you can get the wall off, obviously the best, but if it's really fixed tight and it's a central eating one or something, it might be worth just slackening this nut off. And sometimes when it's like this, you'll find it is leaking, but it's manageable. And that's when we can use something that will take care of this leak for us. So let's have a look at our alternatives. Here's our joint sideways on. I'll do it that way. Now, when you undo it and take the nut right away, you'll be left with the olive just showing there. Now, obviously, if you can take it right off, all the better if the water's off, that is. And then you can wrap this PTFE tape around the whole thing. Just about six winds and push it back in can do it up. Sometimes that PTFE tape isn't that good. So I'm going to show you my preferred favourite, which is this stuff. This is the non-possible one. Okay, this one is a proper boss wire. Now I know a lots of people don't use boss wire on fittings, you know, but honestly it works. I've used it for years and if I want to stop a leak I always use it, I still do, and I find it's the best thing since sliced bread now. The other stuff you might not have seen, it's been around for years, is this stuff. It's plumber's hemp. No, it's not the stuff you smoke. This is the stuff that goes around joints, <laughs> And I'm going to show you my preferred way of definitely stopping a leak with compression fittings using this stuff here. We just pull a thin strand of this away. Okay, it just sort of snaps away like that, a bit like, you know, a bit like hair, I guess. And you can put it into a little thin sliver like this. So here's our, our fitting, here's our olive there. Now, if it's right up against it there, like that, um, then the best thing is if we can get this hemp around there like so, now I'm sliding it back a bit, it's worth getting that just in front of the olive there. It doesn't matter if it goes over a touch around the olive like that. That's the best place for it to go, right there. Now if I take it off, you can see it just in front of the olive if you can get it. There it is, all right? So it's, it's one of those, let's, let's get it bang on the right place. Some people put hemp behind the olive, again, if you're not too sure, you can put a little bit behind it and a little bit in front as well. But if it's on tight like that, then just try and get it around there. So if you're not sure, put another little bit around the back of it as well. And then all we've got to do is put this lovely stuff on here. My favourite. A lot of people hate it. It's a really a mixed bag on this one. A little bit on the finger and around you go. Around the hemp. And it kind of makes the hemp really sort of moist and well just right really for the job. I mean I've took the fitting off just to show you but that would be it now. It would be like that with the hemp right in there. You can see it there looking really good. That's in there tight with the hemp around the front of the fit in there. Don't put too much on, otherwise you won't get the nut back started. There'll be so much gap there, you won't get that started on. So just get about two or three turns of the hemp and then just do it out. Now, do it up nice and tight again, obviously, and pretty much 
I can guarantee that it's probably going to hold water for you. Worth doing. I know it's a bit of hassle winding it round, and a lot of people won't touch it. They still prefer the tape, you know. And um, there is a non-potable one. There's a potable bus wire. There's uh, all sorts you can use on water supplies. But if it's like a a really nasty leak in a horrible position, you will make sure that you have no further problems. Well, for me, for the last 50 years, it's been this stuff. <laughs> okay, well, that's about it. I was asked about this from somebody, so I just want to let you know my feelings on fixing leaks using Boss White and Hemp or PTFE tape. I know my choice. Okay, that's about it though. All my stuff, you know where to go. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye bye.